Mimi siwezi lipa sexo nimechukua moja. Now I don't have speakers. I don't have everything. Yeye yeah, akona speakers, keyboard, everything. So what happened? Tukifanye tu wakiimba tuna support. <laughs> praise, <laughs> praise the Lord. Tu wakiimba wakiimba unashtuka mshirika ameka hapa naye amesema haleluya tumwambie bwana. Ama pastor asema bwana asifiwe unasikia mtu hapa anasema amen. Oh, am I talking somebody here? We were discouraged. And that's how I was swallowed into his church. He came and told me, the Lord said, you need to join us. If you hear me, I said, this one is the Lord. <laughs> I served there for one and a half year. Oh, are you hearing what I'm saying here? Never make conclusions. I don't look like that, isn't it? Do I... <laughs> This is the city of the Lord's peace. There's no way you can come here and go back grieved. <laughs> you are free to laugh. No worries. It's a prophetic laughter. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Am I communicating here? Am I communicating here? Where you are now shouldn't determine. But if as long as you are sure the Lord is on your side. Now that's where the risk is. If I said if Naomi who gave up on herself. It gave up on God could become the Naomi you are talking about today, we are better. I know I may have gone through issues, but I'm not giving up on God. You may have gone through issues, but you have not said, don't call me Jackie. Don't call me holiness. Don't call me, don't call me by that name. You still, you still feel there's a prophetic something. About, you know, you still feel Robert is still a name that I can bear. I have not said, don't call me, don't call me. I, I still hold on it. Am I complicated here? So I'm, I'm still far better. When heaven is on your side, every battle will become a testimony. I say every battle will become a testimony. The way you are now doesn't define you. The guarantee you need to have, am I on God's side? And is God on my side? I want to submit to you, we are not doing whatever we are doing because we are smart. Uh, we are not going to make it as believers because of our how smart and articulated we can be. It's because heaven is on our side. It is that which backs you that makes you. Oh, I said something. It is that which backs you that makes you. As far as heaven is the one backing you, the heavens will bring perfection in your life. Job chapter 5 verse 12. I don't know if you, are, you are, can have message version. Job 5. The verse is 12. Holy Spirit we love you. Oh thank you Jesus. My hallelujah. Belongs to you. My hallelujah. Belongs. To you. you deserve all the glory, Lord. You deserve it. You deserve it, Lord. You deserve it. What does the Bible say? Let's take it there. Job chapter 5, verse 12. 12, yeah. Job chapter 5, verse 12. Mm -hmm. He scattered the devices of the crafty, he so frustrates the devices of the crafty. So that their hands cannot accomplish that which they do enterprise. So that their plans may not be fulfilled. Yes. So what the Lord does, he frustrates the agenda of the enemy. So that they may not seek to succeed with their evil plans against us. Amen. Am I communicating now? Give me New King James or King James if you have it for the same version. Do you have a different version of that? I have uh, the New King James version. Uh -huh. It says? I'll get it in a minute. It says chapter 5, 12, verse 12. Still loading. Okay. okay. Thank you, Jesus. So, this is what I wanted to tell you. When heaven is on your side, what the, Lord, what the heavens, what the Lord does is that he makes sure that he goes ahead of your enemies. And that's what the Bible says. They will gather against you in one direction. But they shall scatter in seven directions. So, the reason why they are scattering is because their plans are being frustrated. The word frustrated means is they are not given leeway. 
they, they, God is giving every impossibility in their pursuit. Their plan is to discourage, to frustrate you, but the Lord turns your frustration into their frustration. Amen. I have it. It says, He frustrates the devices of the crafty. Thank you for that. He frustrates the devices of the crafty. So that their hands cannot carry out their plans. So that their hand may not succeed to carry the plans they have against us. Amen. That is when heaven is on your side. Amen. When heaven is on your side, what heaven does, it makes sure that the works of the enemy doesn't succeed against you. Yes, they can sit and plan. Yes, they can talk against you. But what the, the Lord does, he makes sure that whatever they are planning doesn't come to pass. And that's why I say, don't give up on yourself. Don't, don't, don't allow anybody to... Okay, they can choose to make conclusions, but I would advise us, never you make conclusion about somebody because of where they are. A bishop told me when I started this ministry, 2017, February, when we started this church, <clears throat> after the testimony I gave, amen. So I came to start afresh. And a bishop came to me and said, Sir, how are you? I said, I'm fine. Uh, he said, Church is not for boys. I would want to advise you if you would consider close this thing. <clears throat> I took his words seriously. And sometimes when enemies talk against you, please don't demonize everything. Some of their words are to demoralize, is to discourage, but if you pick, choose to be positive, pick a word from their mouth, as they usually say, and use it as a stone to build. So what I did is this, I accepted the fact that church is not for boys. And apparently, I'm a boy growing to become a man. So then, I need wisdom of men to, uh, am I communicating here? I need wisdom of men then Am I communicating here? So I never, I, one side I said is mocking me, but one side I said is challenging me. And one thing that God has blessed me with, I like challenges. There's that image of God that I think I have. God created us in his image. God like when you, he said, try me in this and see. So I usually have that. I don't like being tried. When I'm tried, I, you, I'll prove you wrong. So I said, okay, this man has proved me wrong. As I'm talking now, by the grace of God, or I pray that I don't put it wrongly, you know, I'm, I'm believing God for wisdom of the tongue. Are, are you following what I'm saying? Because I'm talking about anointed, who is a senior. As you're talking now, he closed church. 2021. The whole of 2021, from February to till now, he's in his house. A bishop. All his seven branches. Phew. Now as I'm talking, I'm believing God to see how we can help him come back. <coughs> But the beauty with Robert, I will help you, but I'll bring you back to speed. No, that is me. <coughs> but I reminded him. You know, you know, you know, some of you are holier than myself. Eh? <coughs> me, somehow, we thank God. I said, Bishop, you know, when you gave me cancer, I took your cancer seriously. But nevertheless, what can we do to revive this ministry? So, somehow, somehow, I brought you to speed. Now, this is the thing. Make sure God is in it. The main thing, Moses said, and for those who are following on Facebook, when I was teaching about hearing the voice of God, I mean, the Israelites said through Joshua and it went through Moses as well, we are not going to live here because Moses knew he needed a pillar of the cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night as a sign of presence for them to succeed. Am I communicating? So the thing is this be sure. Is God is in this. Am I communicating? A lady called me with my daughter from, from New York and she's been supportive to this ministry. She's one of my partners from the year 2020. She said, man of God, I feel like quitting this marriage. And one thing that I don't encourage is divorce and separation. Anybody who has been around me, <clears throat> but I, I will not allow the man to kill you before you leave. But again, I will not advise you to leave if God has not spoken. So as she's telling me, because an issue we've been praying about, because the man married three wives on top of, so she's the, the first, but there are three more. And the man has been frustrating, beating her any time the man comes to that house. But regardless, I still say, don't leave until God says so. And she was obedient to wait from 2019 December until last month, this, uh, this, this March. So when she tested me, she said, Papa, I feel like I'm dead, but I'm living in this house. 
They are told that the Lord spoke about your issue. The Lord said, when you leave that man, all these three women are going to leave. And then you're going to come back. So she did not understand. So I told her this is what the Lord is going to do. In America, it's not, it's not an easy thing like Africa where you can marry different women if you cannot take care of them. So apparently, you know, Africa here, you can be a one man who is dressing very smart, but you are very poor, but you are very rich girlfriends or wives. You know, it's very possible here. <coughs> it, it doesn't happen the same day. <coughs> so what God did, God told me to tell her, leave. Then once you have left, these are the ones who leave. She was the one that was holding the star of that man. So when she left the same month, which was March, the man lost his job. The man cannot take care of these women. Each one carried their self left. Each one carried themselves left. They left. The man remained alone. A man who was having four wives, he remained without a one. So the man started calling Prophet Robert, who he stopped calling 2020 February. Papa, you need to help me. You know they speak strong English, eh? If you don't know that accent. Thank God, you know, I'm international. So, so he started calling me, man, man of God. I said, I said, God bless you. This one you are calling me, I hope there's no fire. <laughs> so, but the woman already informed me, not that the Lord had told me. You know, I don't like when, I don't want to lie. But the Lord had told me. If the, the one the Lord told me is the one the Lord told me. The one the Lord did not tell me, the Lord did not tell me. You know, it takes you to be a man of God when you can say the truth for once. You know, so the person I'm talking about, I know he's watching. Whether it's he or she's not. Are you following what I'm saying? So, the woman said, man of God, you know, when I left the same week, while I began a wheel, the second week, the third week, before the month ended, everybody has left. Now he's begging for me back. And I gave her the wisdom. Sometime, let me not say it because it can be interpreted wrongly. I'm a man of God. It can look like I'm endorsing something. Are you following what I'm saying here? Praise the Lord. Whatever they are planning against you, what heaven does, heaven comes to frustrate that plan so that they don't succeed. By you and your hand, you put your hand to do something. Your hand succeeds. But with them, when they put their hand, that hand doesn't succeed. They will say, what Zerubbabel has put his hand to do? You succeed to do it. But when your enemies try to put their hands upon anything against you, God frustrates that agenda. My prayer is they will not succeed against you. My prayer is they will not succeed against you. Praise the Lord forever. God saw David as a king. But his family saw him as a shepherd. And I want to submit to you, what you see is not the end of me. Be careful before you make conclusions. I'm a product in the channel. When, when I'm a byproduct in the channel, once the, the end product comes out, it's a better something. And that is the same with you. The Bible says we are like a clay in the hands of the porter. That the porter can choose to do whatever he likes with us. Am I communicating? So when somebody wants to make judgment because of the way they see you as it were, that is the wrong decision. They are bound to regret because you are, you are, you are, you are in the process of being made. The beauty is when God is on your side, it doesn't matter the opinion of men. Glory to Jesus forever. People, they saw David as a, a shepherd. God saw David as a king. The question that I want to ask you tonight, how do you think God sees you? And those who follow our prophetic hour, I talked about God revealed me to me. You remember? I've done a preaching on that. It's on YouTube. I did a preaching on that topic. Reveal me to me. Just go and search on YouTube. Reveal me to me. Prophet Robert, you see it. A full session. If God can allow you to see Daniel, how God is seeing Daniel, even you yourself, there's how you begin to change your perspective and your perception. The challenge is, you see yourself the way you see yourself. You don't see yourself the way God sees you. See yourself like somebody managing with 3,000, 5,000 managing. Hello? You don't see yourself like somebody who is going to be managing with some 4 million, 7 million. You know, the, I was listening to a businessman who said they are paying electricity bill close to 1 billion monthly. Was it so? If they pay electricity bill close to 1 billion monthly, that one tells you how much they pay KRA monthly. 
That one tells you how much they pay workers monthly. That one tells you how much they pay maybe places they are renting monthly. That one also tells you how much it reflects in profit monthly. And the man I saw was a nation. And you carry God. When I listen to those that say, God, I'm, I'm double this one. You listen to me talk, you'll be surprised. <laughs> are, you, are you following what I'm saying? <laughs> I said, he's paying electricity 900 million. Ah, we will, I will pay 1.8. And not by, by, by motivation, by revelation. I don't motivate myself because I'm not a motivational speaker. You know me, I know my line very well. I'm a prophet, so I, I do it prophetically. Am I communicating? A motivational speaker can make you to push this your car from here. Thinking that, or you can try to carry it on your head. By the time you are not a you are not a There is grace that is needed. Am I communicating? There were days I used to hear people saying, you can pray for, you can pray for one hour, two hours. It was looking like a miracle. And somebody saying, you know, when I was praying, and I was praying and I realized I prayed for one hour and the Lord told me, me I said one hour, you pray one hour, you. Me I try five minutes, na piga miayo. Maneno imenishia. You are telling me you pray for one hour, it was like a miracle. I don't struggle doing two hours, three hours today. Am I communicating? So once that revelation is open for you, you don't struggle with it. But this is what I came to tell you. When heaven is on your side, victory is on your side. I say when heaven is on your side, victory is on your side. So a few things you need to note down. The way you are today shouldn't define you. You are better than this. The way you are today should not define you. You are better than this. Number two, what you see with yourself is not the end product. Don't make conclusions. What you see with yourself is not the end product. Don't make conclusions. And I told you, if Rahab can enter genealogy of Jesus, you can be the next president of this republic. Oh, if that was possible, then you can be the next High Excellency. The next His Excellency. Am I communicating? It's a proof that with God, everything is possible. So the only thing is, make sure that that God is on your side, with God. Are we together now? Praise the Lord forever. Anytime the devil shoots an arrow of doubt, against you. Tell God frustrate their devices. If God did this in the time of Nehemiah, in chapter 2 of Nehemiah verse 19 to verse 20, when things were tough and Nehemiah was able to come back and rebuild the walls, you can stand and rebuild the walls of your family that has been broken by the devil. If it happens in the times of Nehemiah, when the Holy Spirit has not been fully been released, now we are working when grace is fully at work. We can do better than Nehemiah. He said that them that believe in me can do greater work than this one. One day I was in a swimming pool somewhere with some pastor's friend of mine. Amen. I like swimming, so he was swimming. And I told them in Jesus' name, you know Jesus walked on water. I want to walk. <laughs> I did not manage. So, <laughs> so, one of them laughed until his eyes turned red. Another one said, man of God, just try again. <laughs> just tell him, Master, I, I came for the second time. I did not succeed. I came for the third time. I told him, no problem. I'll bounce back. Praise the Lord. Jesus said, you shall do better than this. So since walking on water, he has done. I told myself, Robert, I must not repeat it. Even magicians now walk on water. Let me do something better. Are you following what I'm saying? I did not encourage myself. I did not discourage myself either. I said, you shall do greater works. I said, this one is not greater. This one has been done. We have seen even magicians today walk on water. So this one, if I do it, it's normal. Let me look for something Jesus did not do. 
Praise the Lord. You know some of us, we cannot try our faith. It looks stupid, isn't it? Imagine you are, you say, in Jesus' name, Pia. Come on. If I say this one, Waka. Glory to Jesus. Anybody that has mocked you, I prophesy, you will have a glorious end. Their mockery shall turn into a testimony. That discouragement shall turn into encouragement. Praise the Lord forever. And I strongly believe if people like Rahab could enter the genealogy of Jesus, this one encouraged me a lot. Then I can, I can be the next biggest prophet in this land. Oh, I don't care what people think. I care what the Bible says. If Naomi who gave up on God and gave up on herself is the Naomi we are talking about today, ah, you can go very far. And I challenged you last time. If Moses made it at 80, ha, you are very far. Some of us, 80 is not up to half of your age. Some of us, is almost half. Some of us, so you still have like the way years you have lived on earth to live more. The challenge with the believers today, we give up so quickly on God. But it's not wrong. Even after you have given up, still something can happen. Different dimension, different ways. Naomi practically gave up because she said, the Lord has dealt with me. Before the end of this month, I prophesy, what heaven has started in your life, hell shall not stop it. I say what heaven have started in your life, hell shall not stop it. I say what heaven have started, hell shall not stop it. In Nehemiah chapter 6, verse number 1, through verse 3, Nehemiah prayed, God, give me grace to finish what I've started. Our prayer today will be, God, give me strength to finish anything that I've ever started in my life. You know the challenge we have, many of us, we give up quickly. You have no problem starting new things, but you have weakness ending those things very quickly. So you don't know which one would have worked, which was ended prematurely. And by the end of the day, you have a list of businesses you have started and did not succeed. You have a list of places you have applied. A daughter of this church, and I believe she will be here on Sunday to give testimony, made application to, four, to around, around four places. And, and that's why I advise people if you feel you want to quit a job before, make sure that you, are, you, cons you try to inquire of the mind of God. So I told her, number one, make sure that now it is time. So I told her it's time now. You can go and resign and go and begin to apply. So she resigned and applied only four places. Anytime she was going for interview, she was on my phone. Man of God, speak a word and I will tell her go. I will tell her every, at every step. Today in the morning, she gave me testimony. Maybe she's watching here. Of four jobs, all of them, she have qualified. All of them. So different salaries, different locations, different environment. So she's now confused, man of God, which one should I? I said, this is a good problem now. Praise the Lord. If, it's in, if once you have confirmed God is in it, the challenge is sometimes we act out of emotion. So when it's a decision made from emotion background, it cannot be backed by God. But if it's of God, God backs it. Am I saying something? Shall I pursue? Will I overcome? Will I overtake? Will I recover? Then once God say pursue, now begin to pursue. If God said don't pursue, even if it was your interest, let God's interest supersede your own interest. And I told those who are following our prophetic on Facebook, it can become a problem when God tells you, marry this man, for example, when he's not the best, you know, hallelujah. The woman God is saying is marrying is not your class at all, it's not your standard. You don't like her body, you don't like her face, you don't like her leg. You know, one leg is like this. Hello? And God is saying this one. You're saying, God, you know. Peter said, at your word, I shall go back. I 
have toiled the whole night, but at your word. Because I know that word is what is going to back me. I believe when Jesus was talking, fish was listening. And that's what you don't know. That's what, because do you want to tell me Peter as a fisherman of his level? Do you not know that when you launch the net in the deep, you catch fish? Do you want to tell me the whole night they never tried putting it deeper? But when the fish saw the, the, the net, the fish had to run away for that night. Because the miracle was supposed to happen the next tomorrow. But you are not listening. What people forget in that revelation is that it was not only the words of Jesus, even the action. The boat which he was using is what Jesus had used to preach before. Jesus said, I want to preach, give me your boat. And Jesus was standing in his boat preaching. And it had, the mantle that was upon him was already released. So Jesus said, with this one, at my word, now go and bring it. So when the fish see the boat, they will come because Jesus was already there. before he told Peter to go back Peter had surrendered his boat Lord use this one preach must Jesus enter the boat of Pope Peter to preach initially I thought he has power to stand over the water because if you can walk over water you can stand on water or you are not listening so Jesus was not in need of that boat Jesus wanted to impact the boat because after all, if you say no, I can even use the water and still preach. It's only you I want to help. So bring it here. Let me put my legs in it. So when you leave here, you can go and carry miracle. Oh, you didn't get that. Many times when God says, I want to use you, you think God, Munga to me. You will not succeed. You will not use me. I've been used before. <laughs> you interpret it. No, He wants to help you. Jesus, if he can walk on water, he can stand on water. So when he asks you for your boat, now you he want to help. And was it only Peter's boat that was there? I tell people every day, and Pastor Emma is one of the people that have been here long enough, even if I die today, this ministry will still go on. Because I don't build it on my personality. I build it on the personality of Jesus Christ. Emma say something? I'm very proud that I'm not building it on my name. I'm building it on his name. Am I saying something? When heaven is on your side, victory is on your side, testimony is on your side, miracle is on your side, hell cannot locate you. Whatever you are doing, hell cannot succeed to interfere with it. Am I communicating here? And I pray that whatever your hand is going to touch after this service, it shall prosper. 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 Rise up on your feet in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray. Nigusetena Nina Omba Baba Unigusetena Nigusetena Nigusetena Nina Omba Set 
Kusena Ni Kusete Ni Naomba Kwa Uni Kusete Ni Kusete Say the name of Jesus I decree and declare. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Whatever my hands touch. Whatever my hands touch. From today shall prosper. From today shall prosper. Whatever I start to do. Whatever I start to do. It shall prosper. It shall prosper. Heaven is on my side. Heaven is on my side. Miracle is mine. Miracle is mine. Testimony is mine. Testimony is mine. Dominion is mine. Dominion is mine. No more delay after today. No more delay after today. No more stagnation after today. No more stagnation after overtaking today. Overtaking anointing is upon me. Overtaking anointing is upon anointing me. Anointing for divine speed is upon me. Anointing for divine speed is upon me. What my father did not conquer. What my father did not conquer. I shall conquer it. I shall conquer it. What my mother did not conquer. What my mother did not conquer. I will conquer it. I will conquer it. Where my father did not go. Where my father did not go. I shall go there. I shall go there. What my father did not receive. What my father did not receive. I shall receive it. I shall receive it. What my mother never saw with her what eyes my mother never saw with her I eyes. shall see with my eyes I shall see with my I eyes I shall possess it I shall possess it. I declare in the name of Jesus I declare in the name of Jesus from today from today because heaven is on my side because heaven is on my side I shall be a record breaker I shall be a record breaker in my family in my family in my generation in my generation I will set new pace I will set new pace it doesn't matter how far it doesn't matter how far many others they have gone Many others would have gone. I have overtaken anointing. I have overtaken anointing. I shall overtake them. I shall overtake. Them. I declare today. I declare today. I'm a pace setter. I'm a pace setter. In my generation. In my generation. The anointing on my life. The anointing on my life. Is going to make records straight. Is going to make records straight. Because I'm a God carrier. Because I'm a God carrier. Because heaven is on my side. Because heaven is on my side. I'm going to be better than this. I'm going to be better than this. Lift up your voice and pray that pray the name of Jesus. Make a declaration in the name of Jesus. Frustrate the counsel of the, of the craft. Don't allow their hands to perform this enterprise. Wherever they gather against me, never allow them to agree. Cause their tongues to be separated. Wherever they gather against me, never allow them to come into agreement. When they gather against me, cause confusion in their tongue. In the name of Jesus, whatever my father did not see, I shall see it in this land of the living. I shall prosper. 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 In my business, supernatural in my ministry, in the name of Jesus, I declare that in the name of Yahweh, let the Lord of 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 the Lord that they will never nurture from my family. The negativity against my life. The negativity against this ministry. No more stagnation. No more retrogression. No more retrogression. No more against my life. Against this ministry. I rise. I raise my voice as a servant of God, and I declare that that plan will fail. Let it fall in the pit. That they have done for my life. I shall touch it. 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 I shall touch
Mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Lift up your toys to heaven, Father. I decree and declare. Say with me, Father, I decree and I declare. Every battle. Planned against my family. Planned against, against my family. Against my life. Against my life. Against my children. Against my children. Against my career. Against my career. From this minute. From this minute. Give them a miscarrying womb. Give them a miscarrying womb. Giving an and miscarrying and a dry breast. That whatever evil they plan against me. That whatever evil they plan against may me. May they fail to nurture it to a reality. May they fail to match into reality. In the realms of the spirit. In the realm of the spirit. Wherever they plan it. Wherever they plan it. I command in the name of Jesus. I command in the name of Jesus. That you shall scatter their meetings. That you shall scatter their meetings. You shall bring confusion in their lips. You shall bring confusion in their lips. Whoever they are. Whoever they are. Wherever they are. Wherever they are. May they fail. May they fail. When they plan failure for me. When they plan failure for me. May they fall. May they fall. When they plan falling for me. When they plan falling for me. May they be disappointed. May they be disappointed. If they plan disappointment for me. If they plan disappointment for me. Give them that which they are planning for my family. Give them that which they are planning for me. Give them what they are planning for In me. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Heaven is on your side. Whoever, wherever they are and whoever they are, God is giving them a miscarrying womb. You know, a womb carries things into manifestation. And what God is going to do is to give whatever there is a spirit entity or a human entity. In the spiritual realm, there is a womb in the spirit and there is a womb in the physical. So the devil can carry a plan for you for some time waiting to strike. Where they are carrying it waiting, they are going to miscarry it. Oh, you are now hearing what I'm saying now? In that womb where they are nurturing it, waiting for the right time to strike, to strike, God is going to cause abortion. It's not going to succeed. And if they bath it into reality, God is going to give that devil a miscarrying a, a dry breast. They will never have enough milk to breastfeed that, that, that failure. Hallelujah. You are free. The Lord is on your side. Put your hands together for Jesus. Let's get the offering basket. Let's get the offering basket. I want to close in time. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Every Friday we are here prophetically. I keep promising, but I don't do. Don't worry, one day. I don't know when. Maybe this Sunday. I don't know. It will be very prophetic. Hallelujah. So those who are giving with their phones, the till number is 974502. And those who are giving cash, we can bring it to the altar in the name of the Lord. Amen. If you have a special giving, I will receive it as well. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lift up your phone if you are giving through your phone. Let me declare, Father, in the name of Jesus, by their giving, crush them.